Well, howdy YouTube. This is Steve at Thousand Year Homes. So normally uh, you're watching a video that could be uh, anywhere from a week to a couple months old. Some of the projects take a while for me to finish, but I'm making a video for uh, Thanksgiving so I don't have to be around on Thanksgiving. And it's tradition on Thanksgiving to uh, make a thankful uh, statement. So uh, even though all of this is very much hard work and I'm a little late in life, a uh, late bloomer, I guess, I'm enjoying myself quite a bit. I'm grateful to find this little piece of land out here. And I'm going to be honest, everybody, I knew it was hard work and I passed on it several times. Uh, while I looked for other things in the area and there was a, uh, like 60 to 80% housing shortage in, uh, the Austin area. So I had sold my house and, uh, ended up being a homeless rich dude so that I, you're still living in your car or whatever. So, uh, anyway, I circled around on this several times and I grew up, uh, as, as a kid on a, on a spread of land. I would say we are gentlemen farmers. My father wasn't, uh, your conventional farmer. He leased out the land, uh, but we had a lot of animals somewhere between pets and farming. <laughs> And that's really where I'm at here. Again, I've got an old horse. I've got an old tractor. <laughs> so, uh, but I'm I'm enjoying myself. Uh, I'm going to be out with my family this week. Bo uh, both daughters uh, down. I'm going down to visit in Houston. So, uh, eat some turkey, then turn around, and come back, and do some hard work again. I'm right back to it. So I'm grateful for uh, my uh, my job that I have. That's besides this job. I've like. You're doing three of them, building a house, ranching, and I actually work in the cloud. I do uh, cool things. I like my employer I work for, uh, the one who pays my bills and keeps me fat and sassy. So uh, I'm grateful for that. I, I see that there's an anti-work eth um, ethos going on. and I don't blame kids when they're not being paid well enough, right, to live or buy houses or anything like that. We need to pay people fairly, uh, need to tax billionaires properly <laughs> all right nobody works a billion times harder than somebody else and uh spread the love and uh that's what thanksgiving's all about we we should spread the love so i'm grateful for all the good things that i've received in my life and even though they're hard work and some days i'm not i'm not quite so uh, happy <laughs> But in this particular case, I am truly grateful. The land has been good. Old Hank's good company out here. Uh, very peaceful for me. And uh, the benefit to me being out here, and I wasn't sure that I could come back because I'd gotten so used to Austin, uh, rural life. Uh, but I'm finding I've, I do fit in and I do have a place. My neighbors like me. I like them. Uh, I enjoy sitting on a tractor and... Uh, I'm looking forward to once I get in the house and I could just tractor more. There, you know, no matter how bad a day is, a good day digging in the dirt and riding a tractor is a darn fine good day. So, uh, anyway, I'm, I'm grateful for my little tractor and a little cedar around me and the, the animals that I've been given charge of and this little piece of property that I'm going to try to be kind and good to and, and not exploit. So I'm grateful for that. I always tell everybody, like and subscribe because you're all I got. I'm so lonely out here. Partially true because uh, I'm used to going and going and going and having lots and lots of things to do. And out here in a rural setting, the one thing I've learned that I, I got to be quite deliberate, right? Like uh, not going in on a Monday and finding five restaurants open, right? I've got to be super deliberate on what I do and when I do it. And, a little slower lifestyle. I've been, I've done it before, so I'm I'm fitting into it. So what else? I'm thinking about the pilgrims and the Native Americans, and you know I've seen a lot of different things here about uh, it being an exploitive environment and us not having the truth. Well, listen, uh, one thing I've learned about rural living in the rural country, I think the pilgrims and the Native Americans, yeah, they had conflict for sure. But I also think that uh, early on they did watch out for each other before people got too greedy. And so the story of Thanksgiving as presented, I know might have been a little bit different, but I do not doubt for a minute that the Native Americans were charitable enough to feed hungry people who didn't know how to feed themselves. I have little doubt with that. Nor do I think that it was some burden for them to 
come and share. And then I'm pretty sure the pilgrims were happy to break open their pantries and augment whatever the Native Americans had brought them and, uh, and uh, join in. And so the whole idea of a festival makes a lot of sense. What you doing, Hank? Somebody said, somebody said that he, oh, is he thankful too? Somebody said that he got out of the fence. So uh, he's got enough energy now, finally, that I'm going to have to keep my gate closed at all, all times and make sure that he stays home, right? Is that what you want? You want to stay home? So horses, he can't scratch his own eyeballs when I scratch him. And they're, oh, oh, that feels great. All right, you want me to give you some oats? He's thankful for his oats. So and I'm glad he's here to help me out, too. So anyway, my daughter's invited me. I, thankful for Leah. I'm thankful for everybody. So uh, it, that does stay in my life. I appreciate that. Sometimes the personality on uh, YouTube is, is a part of my component, but I can also be sassy and mean. Y'all don't see that. Y'all don't see that. I don't put those videos up when, when things aren't going well and I'm all full of uh, anger and curse words. So those folks who stay uh, close and dear to my heart, thank you very much. Uh, looking forward to turkey. Listen, I've already got one Thanksgiving dinner. I'm going to hold everybody in my life. Uh, I'm going to hold them hostage for a turkey dinner and use this sad little story of me being out here in the bitter cold, in the rain, <laughs> and no, no fridge. I, you know what? Years after I get everything done, I'm still going to hit people up with that. I'm going to still hit people up with that. I'm going to feed Hank extra double tomorrow because... I'll be gone in the morning. I'll be back in the afternoon. So I'll give him a little Thanksgiving too. I got, I figured out he will eat green apples. He won't eat delicious apples. He will eat green apples. So I'll throw him a green apple or two in there. He doesn't like them, but they keep him chewing. So, all right, everybody. That's my opinions on Thanksgiving. I'm grateful for the people in my life. Like, subscribe, follow me along. This is a ver video journal of a guy doing a thousand year home everything that i buy i'm buying with the idea and building the idea of being a thousand years and i'm doing restorative agriculture at the same time so i i'm working on this little piece of land uh and um, i'm grateful for everything y'all have a very very good holiday and be safe out there all right bye bye